Morning. Good morning. Happy day after. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it feels, doesn't it? It does, no doubt. Um, how was your workout? Workout was good. Yeah. Did legs today. Did uh, only 12 sets for of leg presses. Oh, yeah. How so come? I slacked a little bit. That's all my legs wanted to do today. All right. Sometimes you don't argue with the body, you know? I hear you. So that was it. And then did my rest of my workout. So that went pretty good. That's good. Yeah. We got into bed probably an hour and a half late last night, and it's amazing how much I'm feeling it. Yes, it really like, is. I feel really like I need a nap. Me too. I slept yeah. well, but that that hour and a half, boy, makes a difference. Yep. It's amazing. Well, you know, that and, and as we said this morning, I don't think either one of us ate enough yesterday. I think that's part of it too. Yes. Yeah. So that has a lot to do with it. I did arms in the gym today. So fortunately, I didn't have too hard a work. I did some arms and some core. Right. But so that was good. Right. But yesterday, so we, you know, we ate breakfast here at home, obviously. And then we were working on the website, which if you're on our email yes. list, you got an email at like quarter to 10 last night <laughs> that it the launched. website's up. So you can check your email for that. Right. Um, but we got into bed. Oh, so I was talking about where we were. So we had two things to go to. We met some friends at a bar first right. for the pregame, and then we went to a Super Bowl party after that. And we went. Um, we met at Ted's Montana Grill, which was you know a place we go for happy hour pretty often. Right. And they were super accommodating. Yes. We had um, some roasted cauliflower right. that had no oil on it. Right. And we had um, roasted, asparagus. roasted asparagus that had no oil on it. And right. then we got a kale salad with right. the dressing on the side. Right. So that that was good. That was fine. We were we were going to get a baked potato, but they didn't. They weren't offering them yet. Their baked potatoes weren't done for the day yet. Right. So. They don't start till four o'clock. <laughs> so we didn't get a baked potato when right. we were ordering. And then we, um, I had a cocktail there. And what did you have there? I had uh, wine. You had a red wine? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we each had one drink there. I had then, two. Oh, you had two. Sorry. I, had I two. fibbed. He had two, two glasses of there. wine. Um, and then we went to a friend's house for a Super Bowl party. Right. And it's interesting. I, I said to Russ, I said, I feel like it would have been different for us if, if we were attending a party like this in, say, September or October. Yes. Um, because we were partial. Not so, not nearly as plant based yes. as we are now. Right. But now when I look at a lot of that food and I'm like, I don't even like I don't feel deprived. It's not like oh I have to avoid eating that. Exactly. It's much more like yeah I don't want to eat that. I mean, I mean they brought out those those chicken wings. I don't know if you noticed that. Or not. Oh I saw them. And yeah. I'm like boy that looks awful. That's, <laughs> that's what I said. I'm like you know what I want. And we were avid and... chicken wing eaters. Yes. You know prior to this. Yes. So. You know, that was interesting. The, um, the person did have some vegan soup, so yes, that was nice. Absolutely. And then she had a ham and potato soup that I had one bite of because I wanted to see, see what, what the flavors like? were. Yeah, yeah, but I just literally had one one bite of it, yeah. and that was it. And you brought the um, whole food plant-based muffins? I brought corn muffins, right. yeah. And it, they're great, easy-to-make corn muffins. The recipe is on our website under um, – Recipes. And the recipes. So yes. if you guys want to make them, they're, and they're a great thing to bring because they're easy because they're, you know, little cupcake shaped right. muffin things. Um, and everybody likes them. Right. And they're actually under Robin's recipes. Little button on the left hand side if you're on a desktop, on the top if you're on a cell phone. Yeah. So they, um, those were a hit. And those were a hit even with, you know, Omnivore friends because yes. they've got some maple syrup in them. Right. So right. definitely not a staple you want to eat, but for bringing to uh, an a event treat. or Absolutely. having friends over. Yep. And then we had friends over this weekend. Right. Yeah, it's Saturday. Yes. So that's this is funny. I had it on my calendar for Friday, but they had it on their calendar right. for Saturday. And so we were scrambling on Friday. Friday was crazy. Yes. And then I fortunately I texted them and was like, hey, I just want to confirm that we say 6 or 6.30. And he was like, I have tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's so much better. <laughs> so yeah. fortunately, we were able to just work straight through right. on Friday. Right. And then Saturday, they came over and I made... Um, sweet potato lasagna. Sweet potato lasagna that they really enjoyed. They right. actually took about half of it home. Right. So that was nice. And then I made ro roasted, roasted red, red pepper, pepper soup, and they also took that. That home. was also awesome. And yeah. Russ made bread. And they took the other half. They of that took home. the other half of the <laughs> bread home too. So, yes. oh, you have to try the corn muffin recipe, and if you love it, you will absolutely enjoy yes. it. They are, um, they they are super moist. So. Super moist, and they're a little sweet, yeah. which is nice. And the corn really adds a good flavor because they're actually corn kernels in the muffin. Yeah, they're really good. And they're really good. Yeah. Yeah, I um I can post the the link to the, our recipe page on our website here, and yeah, so you can find it there and look at them. Right. So it, that one's available. Yep. Um. 
but yeah, it was, it went really well. The, the, my omnivore friends that came over, I think I mentioned to you guys that um, he's a client and he's, he's diabetic. So he, he was asking me, can you help me, you know, address my diabetes? And I was like, yeah, he's like, I don't like to eat yucky food. And I said, <laughs> well, come over and you know, I'll make you some food and you can see if it's yucky. And they really, really enjoyed it. So I think it, though, the challenge they're going to have is that she does all the cooking in the house. And so she's going to have to, we've talked before about the learning curve of learning to eat whole food plant-based and being able to kind of change the way you think about, well, what are we going to have for dinner tonight? And you know what? It was fun having them over. I mean, it was oh, good. they're good people. Oh, yeah. I love those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just a lot of fun. Had good time, good conversation. And good we tried food. not to preach at them about eating whole we food. We did preach a little bit. We had to keep backing off. Well, they were asking questions and right. then, you know, well, you know us, we can get on a roll when yes. it comes to, yeah. you know, how you should eat and why you should eat that right. way. And, right. And that kind of thing. But we talked so, about other things too. Fortunately. We did. We did. Fortunately, we did. Yeah. Yes. But as far as the the Super Bowl thing went, it actually was it was easy. Although, like you mentioned, I don't think either one of us ate enough yesterday, especially no. coming in and today being a fasting day. Right. So we may not we may not fast all the way till six o'clock today. Right. We'll just see how our bodies feel. Right. But I think I mean I had some chips with guacamole. I had a little. I had a few which, chips. Which you know, too. chips have oil in them, right. so that's not a hundred percent whole food plant based. Right. And then. I'm not sure they had sugar in them too, because you know how they make yeah, processed generic, food. Yeah, they're generic. Yeah, regular chips. So, but uh, you know, I had a few of them. But well, you know, th th it's funny. They I, tasted good though. They tasted they? really the good. Salt was but really they don't nice. sit in my stomach well. No. You know, which is the fun, which is the funny thing. You know, so I can still enjoy their taste a little bit, but you know, 20 minutes in, I'm getting that bloated feeling that I haven't gotten since we switched over to this type of diet. And well, we talked about how yeah. when as you change over to eating more plants, the biome in your gut changes and gets healthier but the problem with that is is then you don't have the not quite as healthy bacteria that's designed to process the not healthy, the food. Not healthy food right and so then if you eat not healthy food then your gut's really like hey right. Right. and that was good i i think she gave me a non-alcoholic um <laughs> moscow mule yes really i really do okay yeah i had one uh, moscow mule so yeah bridge i saw your post that you uh you were out all weekend and you were trying to figure out kind of what your options were being away from home. And it is, it's tough. It's tough. And I imagine in Texas, it's probably not, not easy. Right. And Bridget also, I think you have to, or I don't know if you are or not, I'm not trying to say you're not, but we have to be more comfortable with asking and, and specifying this is why, or, or can you make it without, like we ask, can you, can you make the vegetables? Cause they usually fry them. We said, can you make them so they're not fried? And then they came back to, well, is salt okay? Is pepper okay? So they became very They were very accommodating. accommodating. Now, yeah. to be fair, we go to this place a lot, and right. so they know us, and we know the bartender. Yes. So. Yeah, I mean, I asked for, they asked me what I wanted to drink. I said, um, which bottle of wine either was just opened or one you would have to open to give to me? And the, the manager or assistant manager came by and said, whatever he wants, open a new bottle. <laughs> so, so we're there a lot, and they're <laughs> super accommodating for us. But that's the thing, we have to... We have to be more willing to ask. And we yeah. have been places where we've asked and they've been really condescending. Unfortunately. So, yeah, unfortunately. Chris, I saw your, your comment about sweet potato. Um, yeah, you have to. It's very good. It, but if you fry it and make French fries out of it, it's not. But it's if not. you air fry it, then it's fine. Yeah. So, um, Chuck, typically fasting day for us it runs between 22 and 26 hours, right. depending upon how our eating schedule right. is the night before. Right. Today might be 18. Yeah, it might, we might not go that long because, like I said, we didn't eat nearly enough yes, yesterday. Right. Um, just because we didn't. We got home. We came home at halftime. Right. So we got home and could have eaten, but at that point I wasn't hungry, and possibly, like you said, because right. of the oil and the chips, my gut was just like, no, don't put any more food in here. And since I've become a, I don't know, Closet Eagle fan, would you say? <laughs> yeah. How would you explain it? Uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm a Jet fan, born in central New Jersey and lived there my whole life, always was a Jet fan since I was a child. However, since we moved to Delaware three and a half years ago, I've been watching all the Eagles games. Right. And so I was very excited that the Eagles won. So for you Eagle fans out there watching. Congratulations. Nice job. That was good. He that was, was just good. happy somebody beat the Pats. Yeah, so I'm, <laughs> a, I'm a Jet fan and whoever's playing the, the Patriots. <laughs> Absolutely. And for you That's Patriots true. fans, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, Bridge, you're right. If, they, if English is a second language, then you've got a whole separate issue yes. when it comes to trying to ask about, you know, the foods and, and yeah. And sometimes, and I, I said this on the post when you posted about it, sometimes you just have to say, you know what, it's fine. 
once in a while, like I've, I've said, if you can catch an antelope with a stick, you should eat it right. and share it with everybody. And sometimes if you're out, you just have to go with what you can get. Like right. that's the reality just of it. Just pick the best thing possible that, that, you, that works for you. And, and I don't think we have to beat ourselves up about it. It's just no. not necessary. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's fine. Yeah. One, one meal, one day, one weekend. It's just that when, you know, the celebration and the one meal and the one day and the one weekend ends up being three weeks. And, and what was it, Dr. McDougall, that said during his talk that we watched that if you happen to be in a situation where you have to eat something that you prefer not to, it's not the end of the world. Just the very next meal or the very next day, get right back where you are and you'll be fine. Right. It's, and he always says, it, or he doesn't always say it, but he said at that time that it's not about that one meal that you may have Christmas Day or Thanksgiving or you know, whatever the case is, whatever the, the occasion is, it's about your consistency. Every day. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I think it's we have to not be all... Yes, they did, Bridget. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. <laughs> we, we just have to do the best that we can and, and make sure that we're not having an excuse to, to have food that isn't as healthy as it could be right. all the time. Right. And, and so for us... It's just become so much easier than I thought it ever would be, you know, because people say to us, oh, don't you feel deprived? And the thing is, I don't. I no. look at that food and I'm like, it doesn't look good. I'm not I mean, it's just interested. not appealing to look at. So if it's not appealing to look at, why would I eat it? Somebody said to us, oh, I see commercials on TV for food. And I think, oh, that looks so good. I see commercials for TV on uh, for food on TV. I can't talk today. Right. And I think, oh, that looks terrible. And that's what we say to us. Boy, that looks nasty, doesn't it? Because <laughs> there's so much grease and oil yes. in it. So, right. yeah. Absolutely. But so it was fine that we had a good time out with friends for the, yes. you know, pregame and then the half first half. Right. And you, you were good. You weren't screaming at their TV. No, I wasn't. I had a couple of moments, but not too bad. Yeah. And then uh, came home and finished watching it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So it was good. You know, we'll, we, we'll post our food on our, on our journals. So if you're a member of the website, you'll be able to see that and detail kind of what we ate and how we ate. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. Isn't that true, Bridge? Like the TV food, when you see it, you're like, Wah. You know what it is? The Western diets, to me, this is, uh, listen, this is why I think it is. <laughs> the Western diet is geared around fatty, salty foods. That's true. And so, fatty, salty so meat products. Most people have come to, comp to, have, have come to expect that look mm -hmm. as being something that's tasty. Mm -hmm. Where when you understand the type of food it is and all that grease and all that fat and salt and all that, it doesn't look because you're like, Oh, that's like, you know. Horrible for Yeah, you. it's dangerous. Yeah. So you, so it's a different perspective. Right. You know? But now it's the day after and everybody can get back on, on the bandwagon. That's it. And be able to, uh, you know, eat healthy, eat more plants, mm -hmm. pick pick other options. So if, if you had a day yesterday because you were at a party where you were eating party food, I'm sure today you must feel very bloated. Yes. Because that food does that to you. Right. And you probably feel like us, like you need a nap because you didn't get enough sleep. Because exactly. I know we didn't. Plenty of water today. Yeah. Drink lots of water, maybe a little lemon water. Just make sure you rinse your, your teeth because the lemon does. Uh, yes, fasting does. day for you too, Bridge, huh? Oh, yeah, yes. that's us. It's always a good day to have after you've been at a party. Or you've been out and you've like been they out. were out. Yes. You know, when, you when you've had a time where you either had to or chose to eat food that wasn't good for you, the next fasting day is always like, okay, give my body yes, a break to get break. all of that out. Yeah. So. But, yeah, it worked out fine for us. Yeah, it was a good day. And we're super excited because, like I said, we, we did finally get the website launched uh, yesterday. Yes. And so if you're on our mailing list, um, if you took our survey, you got an email last night probably about quarter to ten mm -hmm. and uh, saying, hey, it's up. Here's, what, here's what's there. Here's what's not. So go check it out. We're super excited about, uh, about that. Yes. So do you have anything you wanted to add? Tell them about <sighs> our, our goings on over the weekend. Uh, all no. we did was work on the website. That's all. I mean, we worked all. We, we, yeah, we've been working nonstop, you know, for, for a long time. But we went. We had a very big push the last three days mm -hmm. to get the website up because we said we would have it up by at the latest this weekend, yep. this past weekend. So we did do that, um, you know. And now it's. Uh, and we have leftover food. We have leftover sweet potato lasagna, yes. and we have leftover soup. soup. I love soup. Russ has more bread being made since yep. our bread. We gave it to our friends. That's so right. When the bread is rising, it just needs to be popped in the oven. So. Right. Who we saw at the party, mm -hmm. right? We and, did. And, and, and um, they said that they had bread for breakfast. It was nice. <laughs> Bridge looked for our website. So she was, you saw it because it was up before I sent the email because we had a technical drama <laughs> with the email. Right. So it looks good, right? Russ did a really good job. We're su I'm super proud of him. A lot of programming. Out. There's still some tweaking that needs to be done. Yeah, but, it's, you know, it's, it's the beta. Yeah, so yeah. absolutely. 
Um, it how was, was a sweet awesome. potato? It's good. It yeah, awesome. and, that, and that's on the uh, on the website as well. Because I take two recipes and kind of com combine them. Right. So right. both of those are on the on the website. Right. Which is why I call them Robin's recipes because. She's like, no, well, I got it from this book. I said, no, you started with the recipe from that book, and then you turned it into yours. So to me, if you've changed it in any way, you've made it your recipe. I still link it to the where I got it. Right. So if I you just want, don't feel right about if it. they want to use the original recipe, they're more than welcome to. But if they want to use the better recipe, <laughs> they'll follow yours. I don't put all of the instructions because no. it's never the same. Like right. even the, I have the roasted right. red pepper soup on there. Uh, right. And I made it differently because I because I made sweet potato lasagna. I had the water from the sweet potatoes, right. so I used that as the base for the soup. Why well, throw that away and put fresh water in when it have all those nutrients and right. stuff? Exactly. So. And I think that's a that's a um, big part of uh, the way you cook and the way you should cook if you're going to eat whole food plant based. Thank you, Bridget. <laughs> that's good that we know. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, let's see, it's on your phone, too. Ah, uh, so, yes. So, I guess we'll, we'll be done. You guys yeah. got all the news we wanted right, to share. Right, so we'll finish so. up since it's pixelating. So, okay. you're going to say bye? I'm going to say bye. And so, with that, we will say, eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great we'll day, See you folks. tomorrow, guys. <laughs>